Hi. Now, for this question, we are asked to use linear interpolation to estimate the size of the median angle that's drawn and give our answer to one decimal place. And the answer turns out to be 68.5 then to one decimal place. So because there's quite a bit of working in here, I'm going to take it slowly through the solution. You might want to fast forward though to skip the stages. Now, when it comes to working out the medium, we've first of all got to find the position of the medium. And we've got a total here of 60 students. And because we're dealing with continuous data, we find that position of the median by just dividing the total, which is 60 students, by 2. We don't add one on, you only do that for discrete data. So the position of the median is going to be 60 divided by 2, which is equal to the 30th value. Now we've got to find out which class interval that 30th value is in. So what I'm going to do is set up a cumulative frequency column. So we've got six students that draw the angle less than 60 degrees. And then we've got the 6 plus 15, a total of 21 students who draw it less than 65 degrees. And if you keep totaling this, 6, 15, 13, you get 34 here, which draw an angle less than 70 degrees. And continuing on, we get the following results. Now, we're looking for the 30th value, and that's going to be in this clump here, this 65 to 70 class interval, because we know that 34 are less than the 70 degrees here. So I'm just going to illustrate that by just reading that. So we know the median is in this interval. Now, the way I like to do this is to draw that class interval here. Now, a lot of you might be taught to use a formula. Okay, what I'm going to do is exactly the same formula, but I just prefer this particular way where I mark in that class interval, 65 to 70. And then we've got the commutative frequency up to 65, and that's 21. So I put 21 in there and up to 70 it was 34. So we're looking for the 30th value, which is the median, and I'm going to call that Q2, and it's going to be to the right of centre, it's going to be closer the 30th value to the 34 than it is to the 21. So I'll put it over there, okay, and we'll call that then Q2 for the median. So all we're doing now is just doing a ratio equation. I compare this interval here with the interval below, and it's going to be exactly the same or in the same ratio as comparing the width of the class compared to the difference between the frequencies below. So we've got Q2 minus 65, Q2 minus 65 compared with the interval below, the equivalent interval, which is 30 minus 21. And this is going to be exactly the same as comparing the difference in the upper bound and lower bounds, okay? That would be 70 minus 65, and that's compared with the difference between these commutative frequencies, 34 minus 21. Now, if you are unsure of this method that I use, do check out my video tutorials on this, okay? So, all we need to do is just simplify this, and you've got Q2 minus 65, all divided by 30 minus 21, which is 9, equals 70 minus 65, which is 5, and 34 minus 21, which is 13. And so, rearranging this for Q2, we therefore have Q2 equals 9 times 5 thirteenths and then plus the 65. And this 
comes out to be the decimal 68.46 and so on. So that when you round this to one decimal place, you get 68.5 then. Okay?